Automation is an event-triggered system that automates feature coordination. It is predefined events that connect to a series of actions and or conditions based on the business requirement. In other words, it is a sequence of events that you create to help execute various business processes. EngageBay allows you to trigger automation when a user performs a certain action or condition. You can further associate that trigger with another action. The EngageBay provides marketing, sales, and service automation. Here is the list of events triggered by an action related to marketing. Joins a form, triggers when a user subscribes to the specified inline form. Joins a pop-up, triggers when a user subscribed to the specified pop-up form. Joins a sequence, triggers when a contact joins the sequence specified in the configuration. Tag added, triggers when a tag is added to a contact. Tag removed, triggers when a tag is removed from a contact. Link clicked. Triggers when a user clicks on the link embedded within an email. Opens an email. Triggers when a user opens an email specified in the configuration. Double opt-in. Triggers when double opt-in is configured and a user subscribes to the specified form inline, pop-up, or landing page form and has note description. Triggers when a contact has a specific note added. Score changed. Triggers when the score changes and the change matches with the specifications mentioned in the configured. Contact created. Triggers when a new contact is created and joins the sequence specified in the configuration. Cart abandoned. Triggers when a user adds products to its cart and abandons it without placing the order. Order purchased. Triggers when a user places an order. Contact updated, triggers when a contact field is updated. Web page visited, triggers when a user visits a web page as specified in the configuration. Incoming call, triggers when an incoming call is received. Outgoing call, triggers when you make an outgoing call. While creating workflow automation, you can specify the event's condition to make sure your action is only triggered when an event meets those specific conditions. Let's look at each of these and actions and conditions in our automation builder. Actions Add to sequence, add a contact to a sequence. Remove from sequence, remove a contact from a sequence. Add tag, add a tag to a contact. Remove tag, remove a tag from a record. Delay, delay for a certain amount of time. Wait till, wait until the following condition is met. Scheduler, execute an action on a certain date and time. Set property, set or delete property to a contact. Add to list, add a contact to a list. Remove from list, remove contact from a list. Add to form, add a contact to a list. Remove to form, remove a contact from a list. Send email, send an automated email to the contact based on certain conditions. Add score, add value to a contact based on an action. Star rating, give a star rating to a contact, bad, poor, average, great, and excellent. Update contact status. Add a confirmed or unconfirmed status to contact for sending emails. Send push notification, send push notification to the contact. Send SMS, send SMS to a contact. Voice call, make a voice call to a contact. Add new note, add a new note to the contact. Assign owner, assign deals equally among the selected users. Add to workflow. Enroll in another workflow. Remove from workflow. Remove a contact from a workflow. Remove from automation. Remove an action from automation. Conditions. Custom field. If the contact has a certain custom field. Tag. If the contact has a tag. A-B testing. Run an A-B testing. Has opened email. If the contact has opened the email within the predefined timeline. Has clicked on a link, if the contact has clicked on a link within the predefined timeline. Has call log, has a call log within a certain frame of time. 
Check SMS status. Check the status of the sent SMS. Exists in workflow. If a contact is in a certain workflow. Has event. When the subscriber has an event as described. Has completed workflow. If contact has completed a workflow. Has completed automation. If contact has completed an automation. Has subscriber replied. If a subscriber has replied within the predefined timeline. Has URL visited, if the contact has visited a URL within the predefined timeline. Has completed broadcast, if contact has part of a broadcast. Contact score is, if contact score reaches a certain condition and value. Contact source is, when a contact is added from a specific source. Contact has owner, when contact has a specific owner as mentioned. Let's create an automation. To do that, in the marketing dashboard, click on the main menu campaigns and select automations. On the top right, click on create automation. Select start from scratch from the pop-up that appears and click on continue. Click on create automation and select the trigger as per your requirements. Let's select the trigger tag added and select the tag as EB2 from the drop-down. Now, click on the big plus on the top right and select an action node accordingly. Let's select the action node to send an email. From the pop-up that appears, enter the email name. Enter the subject of the email. Select the from email. Enter the content of the email. You can even insert a template by clicking on the email templates and selecting an email template. Select the time zone, the day and time when you want to send the email. Enter the reply to email in the field provided. You can also enter the CC and BCC email if you want. Once done, click on Update Action button. Connect the nodes and click on the Save button on the top right. Please make sure the automation is in the published mode. This automation will be triggered when we add a tag EB2 to the contact. Once triggered, it will send the email to the contact. In the marketing dashboard, click on the main menu campaigns and select automations. Click the three dots to the right of the automation that you want and you will find seven different options. 1. Edit, it is used to edit the automation. 2. Duplicate, it is used to duplicate the automation. 3. Share, it is used to share the automation with a different user who has an EngageBay account. When you click on it, it will ask you to enter user email address where you need to enter the EngageBay's registered email address of the account. 4. Download Reports, it is used to download reports. 5. Activities, it is used to check the activities on the automation. 6. Mark as Draft, it is used to mark the published automation as a draft. 7. Delete, it is used to delete the automation. To view the reports of the automation, in the Marketing Dashboard, Click on the main menu campaigns and select automations. Click the graph icon on the automation. In the left pane, you will find three options. 1. Contacts. 2. Email reports. 3. SMS reports. 1. Contacts. It will show all the contacts on which the automation was triggered. In the right pane, you will find a drop-down with different options like active, completed, recipients, delivered, etc. You can select the option you want and it will show the contacts accordingly. 2. Email reports It will show you all the emails that you have sent through the automation along with their reports. To check the contacts to which the email was sent, click the three dots to the right of email and select contacts. It will show all the contacts. You can select the date from the date picker on the top right. You will also find a drop down on the right side with the options like Recipients Delivered 
Opens. Clicks. Select the option and it will show the data accordingly. You will also find an option to select the contacts and add them a tag or add them to a static list from the bulk action. 3. SMS reports. It will show the SMS reports if you are sending SMS through automation.